Welcome to Out of the Comfort Zone. All right, I'm going to say that I think all of you know stress is just not going away. If you think there's going to be that moment where there isn't a looming deadline or looming pressure or looming change, I think it's not going to happen anytime soon. And in addition, if you follow Rob Cross and Karen Dillon's work on micro stress, you know that there's a whole level of smaller things that are just part of the things that happen in the course of the day that add stress. Lastly, I'm going to tell you, I know you think as a leader that you can manage the stress, but if you are not on top of it in some really critical ways, then you are at your worst position as a leader. You're not getting the best out of people. You're not getting the best out of your relationships. You're not being the best persuasion you can be. You're not being the best inspiration you can be. So this topic of stress is a really critical one for us to talk about. And our theme for today is mindfulness. Now, no doubt you've heard about mindfulness, and I will bet you've even attended a mindfulness workshop in your organization. And you may be a devotee, in which case, fantastic. And if you're not, I want to talk about why you should pay attention to it. Well, what do we mean by it? Why does it have an impact on leaders? What's the essence of this? And more importantly, how do you practice it? without trying to spend hours on doing it. So my guest today is Matt Tenney. He's a social entrepreneur and he's the author of two books. First one is Serve to be Great, Leadership Lessons from a Prison, a Monastery, and a Boardroom. Fascinating book, I might add. And his second book, the one we're talking about today, The Mindfulness Edge, How to Rewire Your Brain for Leadership and Personal Excellence Without Adding to Your Schedule. He's an international keynote speaker, a trainer, a consultant with the prestigious Perth Leadership Institute that serves Fortune 500 companies. He works with companies, associations, universities, nonprofits to develop highly effective leaders with lasting success, all focusing on this notion of serving and inspiring greatness. And I'll give you a teaser that he has in a book coming out next year called Inspiring Greatness, How to Motivate Employees with Simple, Repeatable, Scalable Processes. We'll have him back for that topic. But our topic today is on mindfulness. And I should also add, just for fun, when Matt's not speaking and traveling, he's in Nashville, Tennessee. So Matt, welcome to the show. Thank you very much for having me, Wanda. That's a pleasure. I feel like I'm just hanging out with you in New York. This is great. <laughs> it's fantastic. You should be here in person. It would be awesome. Um, I didn't mention that you have a great podcast as well. You, you want to give us the plug for your podcast? Sure. It's pretty simple. It's called Business Leadership Today. So it covers a, a range of topics for leaders who want to create and sustain world-class organizations in today's modern business environment. And we actually had you as a guest very recently. It was a wonderful interview. In fact, I took notes and learned about how I could delegate more effectively. And I really appreciated your time there. Great. Thank you, Matt. It was a great pleasure doing it too. So let's return the tables here. 